back to my channel. So today is the start of our kitchen makeover renovation. I don't know really what to call it. Yeah, because we're not ripping the whole kitchen out. We are working with what we've got and just making it more our style. So I'm really, really looking forward to sharing this whole journey with you because I feel like the kitchen is such a big thing to do in a house, but I'm really looking forward to it. So I thought I would talk you through the changes we're going to be making and the things that we would like to do and then after that I will pop the clips in from us when we went on Sunday we went kitchen shopping we had a look at some worktops some paint cupboard colours which I will also share with you and tiles so yeah very exciting I cannot wait to get started but it is a process so I feel like this may not be one video after the other, it's more gonna be like, this is the start, and then I'll add videos in when we are getting to different stages throughout the kitchen, which is so exciting. But the first stage is obviously having a look at what we've got, choosing what we would like to have, and then we're putting a plan in place to start the DIY. Also, the next video coming from this one, I know will definitely be a kitchen declutter because I'm doing that today. I'm gonna go through all of my kitchen cupboards and I'm gonna write a list of everything I need but yeah, there will definitely be another video at some point, whether that is later on down the line or more sooner rather than later, because we're not changing the cupboard caskets, are they called? But yeah, that will be organising and getting like all the storage and the jars and the labels. I'm so excited for that. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and let me share with you the kitchen and the plans we do have and if you like anything that we've done or I give you some options of choices please let me know because we are currently stuck on cupboard choice um but yeah so I'm standing from this side but this is like the whole of the kitchen I thought I'd just give you an overview of it um, and this is the section that we're focusing on first because it's the biggest job so we currently have the white gloss doors, silver handles, which look at this dirt, I just cannot, I'm definitely getting rid of them. Um, a black, like white speckled worktop, which again, is not my style. Um, and underneath, look, I don't know if you can see, it's like all rotten away here. And then we have a stainless steel silver sink, which again, I am just not a big fan of them. They are so difficult to keep clean and I just feel like they're an extra job to keep on top of. We have this silver tap um, and a silver hob and extractor fan. So the first thing we need to do is sort the cupboard doors. The cupboard doors, we have chosen three different colors at the moment. We are torn between two, we'll see in a moment. So we need to do the cupboard doors and decide what handles we are gonna get. I think I'm gonna go with black because I do want to pop a bit of black in here to tie in with, because I'm gonna have a black tap a white sink but a black hob so I kind of want a little bit of black to tie that in so cupboard doors are first and handles we'll also need to do these kickboards down here but um I think we're just going to get new ones because I don't want these lights I'd prefer to have just like plain circle ones and then over here in the middle, you can see there's like a heater. Let me come closer. And there's a big crack under there. And I just want that taken out because I just find like, I don't use it. I don't really know what it's for. If you have one of these, please let me know. It does blow hot and cold, but I just feel like it's a bit unnecessary and I don't need it. And then once our cupboards are done, we need to buy the sink 
and the hob because when we get our worktop, they need to have those things here. I would like to have a sink that is under the worktop instead of like on top. I just really love how they look. I think they're really sleek. And I also would like within my worktop to have the draining board grooves. I don't do that much washing up because we do have a dishwasher, but the odd glass and stuff. I would really like to have that option instead of like this because I don't know if you can see, look at the lime scale build up. Like I just, oh, I can't. I know I'll probably get it on the draining board, but someone did share with me a rubber mat that you can get over them and then you can just pop it away when you're finished. So I'd definitely get one of those. Um, but I would like to have a sink with two parts as well because I really do like having the middle part. I find that really handy for washing food and stuff. And then once the doors, the handles, the worktop, the sink and the hob are in, we're then going to do the tiling. So I'm not going to have this bit anymore because what I have found with just having this and wall, the walls get absolutely filthy. So I'm taking this away because we've got a larger tile. I don't want a tile like here, starting from there. I want to go straight from worktop to tile because I've measured over here. As you can see, it will come like across from the cupboard and we can almost get from the bottom two tiles in. So it'll look a lot nicer. And then I'll obviously have the windowsill tiled as well as a new blind. But what do you think of this tile? I am going to show you in the next clips the tile with the worktop. But this is called the cementy wall tile in ivory. It's from B&Q. And I said to Will, I actually think that we had a cementy tile in grey in our last house. And it does look really similar, but it's just obviously more of a white and a cream. But I love that. And then once the tile is done, that's pretty much it. So it is quite a simple process but like the worktop is going to take time so we're probably looking end of March hopefully to have this side of the kitchen done and then I would love to have some shelves up here because I want to put all my bacon things on there and yeah just new appliances as well I'm planning to put the microwave in this cupboard at the top and Will's going to pop a plug through so we can have like a little coffee area here. And yeah, I don't wanna have like too much stuff out, just maybe some nice decorative pieces. But yeah, those are the kitchen plans for over here. We obviously have some lights under here as well, and they're really big and chunky. So I think what we're gonna do is pop a little piece of wood under here, which will be the same color as the cupboard. Um, probably get some new ones to be honest but yeah just so they're a little bit more hidden which we also saw when we walked around Wren um, so yeah that is this side of the kitchen and then I don't know what I'm going to do here this is our table Will has recently built the bench and I think we will eventually change the top of this so it matches this type of wood because it's just a lot nicer and it'll fit in with our theme and then over here you can see our sample door um, we've got a radiator here and a little cupboard that i put all the kids craft stuff in the radiator i would like a different one i'm thinking maybe a thinner one so then i can put this around the other way because i actually don't like it here i would prefer it against that wall or if i can I don't know if this is possible, but the radiator to be moved to that side and then probably like have one up the wall. And through here is my utility, which is an absolute mess. So just to warn you, <laughs> but we are going to have this exactly the same as the kitchen. We are probably going to have to take out a lot of this because it is all like um, rotten. The caskets are. So yeah, we will take all of this out, but I said to Will, I don't want to do it. We've finished doing DIY, like the big projects, like the bathrooms and the kitchens in the house, because this is kind of like our dumping ground paint area. And it's great because I can literally just shut the door. 
So yeah, that is the plans. Please let me know what you think. So we're just in b and We've just been to a place that does worktops and we've got some samples. So we've come here to look at some cupboard paint. These actually all look the same on here, but they're not. I'll show you them better when we get home. You can see they've got some little different variations. So yeah. So we've just come to this section, the cupboard and worktop paint. And we're thinking to try this one. It's hemp satin. Um, we're going to get a tester and we're also going to buy a tub. And then if we like it, we can use it. If we don't, bring it back. But also, I'm going to have a look at the Rustolian range. But yeah, that looks a really nice colour. And then this is the range that we're looking at with Rustolian. Um, when we watched someone's video, they had the rustolium furniture paint so yeah we're gonna get some testers and take them home and see what we think so we're back home now and we've picked up a wall tile that we quite liked and i thought i would show you the worktops against it and then i've also opened the paint colors so this one is hessian that one's a good darker color i think this one's too light this is mocha and then this one could also be a good contender and that is hemp satin and that is from the other range but yeah this one and this one just try and get a an idea like this is just giving me oh my god all the vibes i love this combination so we've got the first colour ready. This is the Hessian. And we're going straight on with the roller. We are going to be, if we choose to do this option, using our spray it. gun, yeah. But we'll just want to see. one length of each, each one. Yeah. That's a nice colour, doesn't it? What oh, do you think? I love. <laughs> That's the first one. So the next colour is going on. Oh, similar. Very similar. Just a bit lighter. I think I like that one. What do you think? It's hard to see because it's only three o'clock, but it's like so dark outside. Nice. So hemp, hessian, and then the next one is going to be mocha. I this mean, one's got more of a grey undertone. This is a pinky that. and this is like a warm creamy. So what would you choose? We've got hemp, hessian and mocha. Let me know what you think. I'm going to take this over to the tiles and the worktop. We'll have a little look. So we have the tile with the worktops and then this would be the cupboard colours. So I'm thinking probably that one, do you think? Yeah, is a good contrast. I was saying, I think this one is actually nice as well. I think this one is nice. This one's too pink, like actually. It's too foundation -y. Yeah. Foundation -y, what like makeup? Orangey. <laughs> this one I think is too light overall, the kitchen. I think it would wash it out too much so that's why i think we need a good contrast but so after receiving our kitchen worktop quote back it came in at three and a half thousand pounds so we have decided to look at other options and see what is going to work out the best for us and since that video has been filmed we have had a look round Wren. This is where the clips are from right now and we have also been and got a quote for a full kitchen at B&Q because they currently have 25% off their kitchens. We're also hoping to take a trip to Ikea so if we do I will bring you along with us but that is where we are at at the moment and yeah I will keep you updated. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!